Welcome back to Wolf Dog Empires. I, I put a video out there recently about uh, four new players, which elemental defensive down heroes to keep multiple copies of. We all know about the five stars, but what about the little known or little respected three stars? In the today, we're gonna do the red, the red team versus a green titan or versus the green tanks and alliance wars or multiple green heroes in alliance war or raids we're gonna go over the reds against the greens so if you have costume marjana great level her up the only one that's slightly better than her as elemental defensive down is kufu and only because Kufu does a lot more damage than Marjana. <clears throat> Marjana is fast, so Kufu is lower than Marjana. So maybe that's where you, um, you know, Kufu special is supposed to be better than Mar Kasu Marjana because Kufu's special runs slower. Uh, so if you have either Marjana or Kufu, they're both great. Level them both up. You can make one spearhead one of your uh, red stacks and the other one can spearhead your second red stack or if you have two costume marjanas one for the first team one for the second team i don't have costume marjana um, as you can see here the target and nearby enemies get a minus 54 percent defense against fire for three turns she's fast there's other things she does. She deals damage, and, and all ice enemies get minus 34% attack for three turns. But the big thing here that's great is the elemental defensive down. What makes it elemental? When it says defensive down against fire. So the keyword is against, and then it tells you which element. And that's what what, what is elemental in this case. In this case, defensive down, so elemental defensive down. Okay, so Kasu Marjana, she's great. She's a five star. So if you get her, you you, you do want to level her up uh, right away, actually, because she's great against the Green Titan. She's great against Green in the weekly raid tournament. She's great against Green in the Alliance Wars, which which happens two times a week. And if anybody has Green Tanks or has more than one green hero in there you're going to want to use your red stack against them and the next time you flip that board they come back around then use your second um uh, red stack so costume marjana she's great so here's kufu five star mana speed slow so you expect the special skill to be stronger he does deal 450 percent damage to the target and then the attack chains through all the enemies who are adjacent to any hit enemy. So if nobody's dead, doesn't matter who he targets, he's going to hit every single one in the enemy team. And the target gets minus 41% defense against fire and a further minus 4% decrease every time they are hit during four turns. So going up against... The Titan, I mean, that this Khufu is, is great. Now, so if you have Khufu, level them up. Use them against Titans. Use them for your red stacks. If you have Kosovo Marjana, use her. That's awesome. Now, who is the lesser respected elemental defensive down in red? Guardian Falcon. He's only a four star, so he's going to be a lot weaker than the five stars we were looking at. The attack is uh, lower. That defense, even at 75 plus 20, is 977, which is really good for a four star. But the five stars can get higher than that. The um, health on Guardian Falcon at 75 plus 20, I have him at 1331. And that's really good for a four star, but the five stars can get higher than that. And he does, he's average speed. He deals 225% damage to the target and nearby enemies. That's pretty good for a four star, really good actually. 
and the target and nearby enemies get minus 54% defense against fire for four turns. So that's elemental defense and down against red. And this makes Guardian Falcon, even though he's just a four star, it makes him one of the best four stars in the game. And you want to keep him because of the when you go up against a green titan, then you you want to set off your stack with Guardian Falcon. And for Alliance Wars, if anybody has you no know, green tanks, or if anybody has more than one green hero, maybe they have Quenel and El Nada, and they're like, well, I'm gonna use both. I'm not gonna sit. I'm not gonna bench the fifth best hero in Quenel in the game. Just, just because you have number two green or number two overall, El Nadaha. So, you know, I can see that if somebody doesn't have all the heroes in the game or most of the really good heroes in the game, if you end up with El Nadaha, if you get lucky and you get El Nadaha and Quinell, you're probably going to end up using both because they're, they're really good. So, you want to use, you want to keep multiple copies of Guardian Falcon. So I have, I, I, let me see how many I have. I have one there. So I have one at the top at 75 plus 20. The reds are all the way at the bottom. And then here's a second one at 414. That's two. Third one at one six, and then two more here. So that's five. So I'm keeping five Guardian Falcon just just in case somebody puts a bunch of greens out there, and I just got to keep hitting it. Or if I ever encounter that Mythic Titan in green, I can try to hit it with. I'm hoping for what at least three, three of these teams. But I'm keeping all five just in case. Because if I don't pull a lot of, uh, if I don't do a lot of pulls anymore, I just want to keep some of the really good heroes. I don't want to feed them away thinking I'll just get them back and next time or or in the future. So Guardian Falcon, you want to keep multiple of them. So how do you... Let's look at that red team against the green titan. So what I normally try to do is set off costume Wilbur. And that gives us that plus 100% attack. And then I try to set off, if I can, Franz. Which gives us a plus 50% damage dealt to the, to the enemy. He also hits all enemies. Let's take a look, Let's take a look at Franz there. Franz, I got him at 75-20, his attack is 648, 896 defense, 17-71 health, that's <laughs> that's an awesome health right there, and the defense is really good too, uh, very slow mana speed, and as you can expect with a very slow mana speed, his special is really good, so it's a worth it, absolutely. He deals 215% damage to all enemies. And here's a big one. All damage that all enemies receive is increased by plus 50% for six turns. So for the next six turns, whatever you hit any and all of the enemies, they're actually going to get uh, damage, plus 50% damage. So if you're going to hit them with 600 damage, they'll actually take 900 damage now. If you're going to hit them with 900, now they're going to take, what is it, 1350, 1350. So Franz is, is, is really, really good. And the tougher, the stronger the other allies are of Franz, then the, the, the better, the more he's worth, actually. And here's another one that's really awesome. Uh, all enemies are immune to new status effect buffs for six turns. So I, when I use Franz, um, I do notice that... 
when the after I use him, after he sets off a special, then the enemies will have a buff that they give everybody, like maybe like a attack up or something like that to all, like from Bolt Tusk or from uh, Costume Wilbur or anything like that. That's a buff. So within six turns of Franz going off, instead of them getting that buff to all heroes or just to themselves, it'll actually say immune. So they are immune to that buff. They won't get it. Makes them really great. Uh, I believe costume Guardian Panther has that also. All enemies are immune to new status effect bus for three turns. So she has it for three at fast. Franz has it for six turns at very slow. So Franz is great, a great one to have. Wilbur is a great one to have. We kind of went over it earlier. All allies get plus 100% normal attack for four turns. And this effect can be active in addition to effects that alter attack in general. Normal attacks can have a total max of plus 140% increase. Power while this effect is active. All the allies regenerate 280 HP over four turns. Custom Wilbur is awesome. Regular Wilbur is amazing also. So if you get, let's say, six copies of Custom Wilbur, don't feed them into each other. Keep them all. Keep them all. I only have one Custom Wilbur. This is the only one. So I level them up to 75 plus 20. Fronts, I do have several fronts. So let's take a look at green. So there's there's the first front seventy five twenty. Here's the second front at one eighteen, and here's two more to make a total of four. So I'm keeping four fronts. He's he's that good. You want to keep. As many fronts as you. if I get six, I'm gonna keep all six, and eventually I'm gonna level them up just one by one, one by one. So what do you do with? So we're going back to to Guardian Falcon. So how do you use them? So. So I try to set off, this is against a Titan, but it's very similar against Alliance War. If you have multiple of these, this is how you want to set them off. So I, I try to set off Costume Wilbur to give a plus 100% attack. So that's double the attack. Then I try to set off France if I can for a plus 50%. So that's, that's basically what tripling your attack with those two. And then you set off. Um, Guardian Falcon, so he's going to go up with triple the attack, plus he's going to set up a elemental defensive down of minus 54%. And then we're going to, in this case, I'm going to go um, try to set off Sun Shangcheng. I'm sure I messed that one up. Sorry about that. Uh, I call her Sun. So we might call her Sun. Um, and she gives a minus 44% defensive down and a further minus 4% decrease every time they are hit during three turns. So with the minus 54 and minus 44, we're talking minus 98% defensive down after soon goes off. If she goes off after Guardian Falcon, after those two go off, you're, you're, you're at a minus 98% defensive down. And once another one goes off and hits them, then they'll be at 100% down because it'll be just over 100%. So it'll be 100% defensive down. So you're going to, I mean, come on, you know, minus 100% defensive down. And then after that, you, you, you can uh, go off with uh, any of these three. They, they all hit. So after that, I mean, it's, it's minus 100% defensive down. And even with Russell hits, it's minus 98% defensive down. And 
He's, he's not the best red hero out there. He was my first red hero, so he's 85 plus 20, but I kind of wish I didn't level him all the way up and use up um, all those materials and limit break ethers on him. But, um, well, he's already up there, so why not use him? He's at 995 attack, 832 defense, 1539 health. He's mana speed average, and he hit, oh, he never misses its target. So with the people who like to evade or like to, no, no, he never misses. He deals 350% damage to the target. So we're talking at 3,400. So he, he hits with 3,000. Remember, it was minus minus 98% defensive down and he would do triple damage if you had set off Costum Wilbur Franz Guardian Falcon and Soon and then by the time Russell hits he hits with a minus 98% defensive down and triple he's going to hit with triple so instead of that 3,400 or 3,500 he's actually going to hit triple that so it's 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 pretty big hits when you're you when you're setting off stacks and that's why you want to um, always keep the elemental defensive down heroes and keep multiple copies because essentially you're going to try to build one stack two stacks three stacks if you have enough enough uh, room in your um Hero capacity here. If you have enough room in the hero capacity, you're gonna want to keep two, three, two or three teams, and some of these elemental down heroes, elemental defense down, you may want to keep an additional copy. So that's why even a four star hero, which if you're new, you might not know that that four star hero is that important. He's more important than a lot of the other red heroes because he's going to give you a huge elemental defensive down against your red team. And um, one of the newer heroes, Saorsi, uh, some people say it's, how do you say it's pronounced, Sorse. And she gives a very nice uh, defensive down. So Saorsi... She's mana speed, um, it was slow, now they change it to Slayer, which, you know, goes up the way uh, it's set up for Slayer. And the attack is 737 and she deals 315% damage to, to the target and nearby enemies. And here's a big one here. The target and nearby enemies get minus 54% defense for three turns. So, if you have a Guardian Falcon, which I do, he gives minus 54% defense against red. And then if you say uh, set off Sorcy, Sorcy, she gives another minus 54%, which is over 100. So, by the time Russell hits, it's already at minus 100% defensive down. So, I am going to bring up Sorcy. I do have her. She's I only have her at 1-1. One, one. Right now, I'm working on Garnet. The reason why Garnett's super special, I have not seen any other red healers. And that's part of why she's super special. In four stars, you'll find some more. Three star, you'll find some healers. But in red, I haven't even seen one in red that is a healer five star except for Garnett. Maybe there are one or two out there. I'm sure there's not that many. Green has... Um, some healers, but then uh, blue has m many healers in five star. Uh, purple has some healers out there. They have, some of them have minions, some of them don't. But there are multiple healers in purple. Yellow has plenty of healers, and so that's probably why Garnet is so special. It's because she's the only five star healer in red, or one of very few. So I got Garnet. So I just decided I'm going to go with Garnet uh, as a healer. But then as soon as I'm done with her, then I'm going to be bringing up uh, Sorce. So I'm really happy that I got uh, this hero here in red because 
I did have Cathal already, so I do I do want to use Sorce and Cathal together. Maybe in the future I'll get another 5 star um, for my Rush Wars. Because if you have, they have that that uh, family special where if you can get 3 of them, then they have a 100% chance of getting these stacks even higher, quicker. So that way get slow they're going off faster so so that's so that's red right there if you can get uh khufu and then Sor cersei or Mar castle marjana and then cersei or garden falcon and then cersei or uh khufu and then santa which gives minus 44 percent defense for three turns or you, you know it's just uh in Elemental Divas of Down, it's uh, Castle Marjana, Khufu, Guardian Falcon. And then the Defensive Down for the second part of the stack there, it would be Sorce at minus 54% Defensive Down. And then Santa at minus 44% Defensive Down. Uh, Wilbur gives you minus 44% Defensive Down for four turns. Uh, soon, she gives you minus 44% percent defense but it also gives an additional minus four percent decrease every time the enemies hit so th those are the ones that are special you want to keep multiple copies of of all those i just mentioned every single one of them you want to keep uh two to four copies of each one especially with the ele elemental one because those are a little harder to find all right i will uh, post this one on youtube there let us know what you think give us a like Subscribe if you haven't subscribed. I'll do the other uh, elemental colors. Let me know if you want to if you want me to go over those also, and then maybe in the future we'll do one for the titans also. All right, thank you for watching Wolf Dog Empires.